Hello guys, welcome back to another podcast. Apologies, there hasn't been one in the last couple of weeks. There's, we had a few uh, people that went on and we thought it's just not the same without them. So we postponed it to this week. Um, so there's five of us today. We've got uh, MAWWW1. For the Legion of Light. <laughs> uh, Custom Broomstar. For the Legion of Dark. <laughs> uh, Mega Apocalypto. Hola. <coughs> Captain Cummings. Luke Cage Suppository. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's going to be one of those ones, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, what have you guys been reading this week? What would you read this week, Jay? Hawkeye. <laughs> uh, uh, That's all right. <laughs> Hawkeye. Uh, How was well, it? It's not bad, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I think. I, I think it was. How much was it? It was about two ninety nine. I think, wasn't it? So. Mm. This. Well, if you can, kind of. Not taking the artwork as how bad it is, but just kind of get involved with the story. It's quite a good read. But, you know, it, t- it takes a little bit of. Um getting into to avoid the artwork you have to use your imagination is it like one of those books that you have to connect connect the dots to actually see what the picture is yeah (laughs) (laughs) that'll be a novel approach (coughs) Um, I wonder how many issues that's going to last oh I'm betting at least two (laughs) (laughs) is there anything to do with the Marvel now (laughs) <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure they cancel it after issue three and bring out another number one soon enough. Yeah. <laughs> Hawkeye issue two soon to be dis- defunct, and we're bringing out issue number one next week. <laughs> All for the Marvel now. And then a point one after that. <clears throat> There's the R work in it. Um, Aja. David Aja. <laughs> Aja. And I had no idea. He does that whole book with his feet, you know, and I was making fun of him. But uh, that's how he drew it, so I, I don't have anything bad to say now. <laughs> I thought he was driving and dra- uh, drawing at the same time. Oh, that was Rob Leefield. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. There, there's actually a video you can watch where he's uh, doing it. He's showing you how he draws while driving. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to send that link. It's funny. I watched that one. <laughs> Um, <coughs> what do you guys think about this? Um, there's a five part series coming out that's um, coming out of the uh, Avengers vs. X Men called uh, Consequences. Have you guys seen the solicits for this yet? No. no. I think I saw something in Marvel previews last month for it, issue one. Yeah. Yeah. Kieran, uh-huh. Kieran Gillen. Uh, Mark Brooks, Steve Kurth, and Carlo Pagadagadagada, whatever. Um, it looks it looks kind of interesting. Um, I I really think that uh, Cyclops is kind of euchred though in this. It looks to me like it's gonna be uh, he's going to jail or he's gonna be held accountable though, something like that. Hmm. Old one eye in jail. I think it would be fantastic if they turned him into a bad guy. Just because, I mean, there's. I mean, he's to that point, you know? He's pretty much crossed the line. They might as well bring him all the way and make him like the new Magneto. (laughs) But like 10 times lamer. (laughs) (laughs) I I still say he's a scroll. I've said he's a scroll for the last three years. (laughs) He's a scroll. I, st- I still think he's being manipulated by Emma Frost and Magneto. I think there's some kind of me- mental thing going on there. Do you think that Emma Frost is in love with Magneto? Oh. Could be. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a mind trip for him? He would have something else to cry about. Yeah. Oh, he would he would lose it, wouldn't he, if that happened? <laughs> You're picking him over me? He's old. He's old. 
<laughs> Look at the helmet. It's so messed up. <laughs> His helmet's not any better. <laughs> yeah, true enough. <laughs> I read a book that was pretty good this week, though, um, Detective Comics. Um, I mean, it started out real slow, but to get through the first part of the story that I thought was kind of boring, they had like four cool like Batman splash pages, and you're just like, okay, <laughs> fair oh, enough. Nice. If you're gonna have terrible story, you might as well have badass artwork. <laughs> yeah, if you have to give one up, you might as well have the other. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> if you don't have either of them, it's just bad. Go straight to the bathroom. Is good. <laughs> <coughs> um, and then horrible, horrible. Uh, let me say it three times. Horrible. A <laughs> babies versus X babies. I, is there a market for that, or are they just is Marvel retarded? Like, wh- who's, <laughs> who's 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 gonna? I don't under like. What is it? Avenger babies versus X babies. Like, what the hell is, is that, that? Who's gonna buy it? <laughs> when is that coming I, out? I, I might read that. That's when is that out? coming out? I don't know. Next <laughs> month. I think. Next month. I might check it out. Oh, oh no! It's <laughs> as long as it, as long as Squirrel Girl's on the cover. No, she's not. <laughs> Squirrel Girl. <laughs> I think I think Marvel's taking up DC's idea. Can I say the word shit at this podcast? Yeah, <laughs> you said yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> you said it. <laughs> but you might bleep it out. You never know. I think Marvel's taking DC's idea of if you throw enough shit at against the wall, some of it's yeah. going to stick. <laughs> But that only happens if it's like real, real, you know, um, loose feces. Because if if it's just a straight ahead log, it's gonna fall off too. And a lot of this is, you know, like man, oh man, I don't know. Like that just that looks ridiculous to me. It's Some gotta be gonna cutesy. run your fingers as you pick it up. Yeah, yeah. You know, I've seen like, that cover though before. That was a variant cover that Scott Young did. For uh, AVX uh, number one, I believe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I got that because it was part of the. Just the <laughs> you got that that's, one. That's, that's, that's different. That's different. That not going to get the crossover. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh man. Um, I'm looking at this round twelve cover, and it has. Why does Iron Man have wings? Round twelve. For uh, badminton. Um, Iron Man doesn't need wings, does he? <laughs> Maybe he's dead. Maybe he had Red Bull. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. i never seen the, the picture for that. Oh, jeez. It's, it's in the link down below. Jace ah. uh, put it up. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, sit down. Yeah. Bear with Angel? I don't know. <clears throat> he's got wings on the picture. Um, I see that there's a shooting in Wisconsin. Did you guys see that just popped up? Yeah, in a temple. At the Sikh temple. <laughs> it's uh, too bad, man. Um, people are just freaking terrible in the world. <clears throat> Let me see that picture. Uh, did anyone see the U.S. gymnast picture? That's pretty nice. No. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, I see it. That's cool. He kind of looks like a Transformers there, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, what is with that? <coughs> he kind of looks like a Croyer from um, the uh, Micronauts with that thing. In issue five, he creates Voltron, and then in this one, he has wings. <laughs> yeah. But he could fly before he had wings, so I don't understand it. <laughs> That's just to help him steer a bit better, I think. <laughs> 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 He had steering problems, you know. Um, I don't know. Maybe that. Uh, <clears throat> maybe he wants to take the 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 flight off of his boots because his feet get hot a lot, and he wants to put it on his back. Of, I'm gonna play rock. Oh, I think I got it. He won't fly his farts with the wings. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know. 
Have you guys seen the solicits for uh, Thanos, Son of Titan, that five part? Oh, man. You're looking forward to that? It's been oh, cancelled. I heard it got pushed back. Yeah, it has. Yeah. It's, been, it's been pushed back to about 2014, I think, was it? <laughs> <laughs> well, it might as well have been cancelled then. <laughs> Why do they cancel all the books I want to read? Because they know you want to read them. <laughs> it's like um, they, they were going to come out with that Doctor Doom one where he goes to save his uh, mom in hell. And they canceled oh, that yeah. before it even started. I kind of like the look of um, the new Avengers number 32 has got um, in the background it's got a big picture of uh, Brother Voodoo which we haven't seen for a long time well, he was killed in like issue 5 or something so that's that is interesting to me <clears throat> it's, a two, it's a two page or not two page uh New Avengers 31's got Doctor Strange, and New Avengers 32's got Spider-Man, but they the, the covers go together, and it's uh, Brother Voodoo in the background. It looks really cool. Didn't Brother Voodoo's brother swear vengeance on the Avengers? Uh, who, who do Voodoo, right? No. Yeah. What was it's, it? Who is that? <clears throat> Don't... Uh, Brother Voodoo's brother, he was a, like this like ghost. And when Brother Voodoo got sent wow. into some never realm, his his brother turned around and said that he swore oh. Avengers, he was gonna defeat the new Avengers or something like that. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I forgot about that. Yeah. Well, I'm sure that's what that's about then. Yeah. You know. Hmm. They're gonna be attacked by a ghost. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Then I see they got a Marvel Universe versus the Avengers, which is a four part. It's like, come on. The Marvel Universe is going to verse the Avengers? Half the Marvel Universe is the Avengers. <laughs> yeah. is, is that to do with the, the Punisher versus the Avengers and the Wolverine and the, the Deadpool versus the Avengers ones? Where, yeah. Yeah. Same, same thing. Well, so, what I hear is they're coming out with like a new comic, you know, miniseries like once a month or something like that, and they're going to come out with a weekly until it's over or something. Oh, really? That's, oh, right. that's. Uh, <clears throat> I see the the uh, the minimum carnage is. <laughs> I mean, I love those carnage books <clears throat> the series that just came out, Carnage USA, and the one before that. They're really um, good. This one's kind of weird, though, because it looks like he's, like, the size of, like, a G.I. Joe action figure or something. He's just a little guy. I don't know how yeah. much damage, like, a little action figure size Carnage can do, but... Uh, <laughs> G.I. Carnage. I guess it depends on where he can get you, you know. <coughs> Luke Cage knows all about that. Huh? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cool up your trouser leg. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, being attacked by rats. <laughs> <laughs> that was the mini carnage. <laughs> <laughs> um, Phil, I see that uh, Wolverine is going to be in Winter Soldier number twelve. Man, what do you think of that? <clears throat> well, it seems like they're trying to bring out all the. Uh, they keep bringing all these big names into the title, like they had Doom in the first story arc, and this this the story arc they're on now really doesn't have any big names except um, they bring in Wolverine in. They're bringing in another big name to try to like sell the book or something. I guess it's yeah. still pretty good though without it, without him. Yeah, that's a sweet uh, Steve Epting cover though. Oh yeah. <laughs> Has he been... I think he's been doing all the covers, I believe. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Captain, uh, Captain America 19, that's the end of that book. Um, yeah, I'm getting that book just for the cover. Yeah, that's a sweet... It, Steve's doing the inside stuff, too, which is nice. It, yeah, he wanted to... I guess they wanted to do it to like put them back together, and since it's going to be Brubaker's last book Yeah. on Cap. So that looks oh. pretty cool. And what's with um, 
I was wondering what is with because uh, okay, let me ask this before I go into this. Where is the last place that we've seen Doctor Doom? It was in that um, that Winter Soldier book, I believe. He's sometimes in the FF book, you know, the kid <coughs> one. Why is he in white now, though? Because he was part of the future. He's part of the FF. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Forgot about that. It's been, oh, man, I read so much stuff that I can't remember what the hell's going on. I quit reading that book because it was just... It's almost done now, so... Yeah, but they're well, they're bringing like, it back out again. Oh, are they bringing going? that one out? Mm. I thought oh, that was, all one the was ones canceled. No, the the Fantastic Four they they're canceling and FF they're canceling, and Marvel have brought out some teasers where they've got like these posters with one words to describe what yeah. they're going this thing's going to be. Um, one one of the posters said family, which is obviously going to be the Fantastic Four, the yeah. Marvel's first family. And the other one was extension. Oh. So the I extension. A, I thought that was a, a book about stilt man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It could you sure be. it wasn't. You sure it wasn't extinction, and they're just canceling FF. <laughs> <laughs> That's wishful Everybody's thinking. Got their, everybody's got their fingers crossed. Oh, <laughs> we don't need power pack on a, a comic book anymore. I want there to be a, a four-part Sabretooth series. Where he kills the Power Pack kids, and then the second issue, he kills all the FF kids, and then and then he, he and then he barbecues them. <laughs> the third issue, he barbecues and eats them, and then the fourth <laughs> issue, he just he just sits around and belches and farts. <laughs> He's He's just about all. <laughs> oh, that smelled like a bit of, a little bit of Julie Power. <laughs> <laughs> Light my light, light ray farts. <laughs> they could get uh, Rob Liefeld to uh, draw the pictures. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a pile of ankle bones and pouches. <laughs> ankle bones and pouches. <laughs> Lots of teeth. <laughs> um. I think we talked about this a little bit yesterday, but I don't think too much about it. Did did you guys read um, the uh, the new Neil Adams and Christos Gage first X Men book? I I sort of dabbled with wanting to pick it up, and then I thought no. <laughs> he thought no. <laughs> yeah. It seemed a bit too much to me, like that the the miniseries that. Um, Howard Shakin did the Avengers. Was it Avengers nineteen fifty six? Was it or yeah? It seemed a bit like that to me. Well, after the Batman Odyssey um, fiasco, if if I may call it a fiasco, um, they, I, uh, I thought I'm not picking up any more, you know, Neil Adams stuff because it it that book almost killed me. It like the art killed me. It was just really. <laughs> Lucy Goosey, and uh, not that I mean, it's, I'm not saying he's not a good artist because he is, but I don't know. Over the years, I mean, maybe your your styles change. I don't know, but I thought I'm not going to pick that up, and I picked it up anyways because I'm a sucker. And the the cover was a little crappy, but everything inside was way tighter than the uh, cover, and the story was actually really good. The only thing about it that kind of bugged me a bit was, you know, again, it's, it's you know, this, it, the X-Men before the X-Men, you know, they've done like <laughs> 10 know. books like that, you know, this is the X-Men before there was an X-Men, you know, now it's like, it's like these guys were before anybody, hey guys, you know, like no Charles Xavier's podcast now, uh, like a young man and weeks, Wolverine just, calls uh, him so kid, get, that, that, um, that was hard to take, Mark man, I read that and I was like, oh, geez. Not that, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, the podcast will be up tomorrow. Hey, when are they going to stop and, um, doing that sort of thing? I mean, now, so is there going to be another X Men before Friday, that so X Men? Uh, yeah, probably. Obviously, probably still in it. You know. um, yeah, so yeah, it'll yeah, just be free in, in probably Thanks. a couple See of protons and an amoeba so, or something. Yeah. I'll speak to you in the podcast tomorrow. No. See you later. Maybe Namor, the first mutant. Who knows? Uh, we dupe. 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 Dupe the poop. Wolverine and Dupe have been 
Pally, wouldn't they? They were Pally in the. Um, what was it? Which X-Men's was it? Um, the ones drawn by Mike Alreed. Yeah. Static X. Static X, right? Yeah. Wolverine and Duke were Pally in that, so you never know. They might have, you know. In the primordial ooze, Wolverine might have been sitting there schnicking whilst Duke was. duping, I suppose. The best duping. thing about Static X is, is the, the song Loser. And that doesn't have anything to do with the comic, so. <laughs> Static X. And this five foot hair. <laughs> yeah. The Static X was X Static. Wayne Static. Oh, man. <laughs> um. Oh. What else? <clears throat> How about, um, uh. Well. Extreme X Men. That was a that was a lost cause. What about this? Uh, this Wolverine Max looks freaking amazing. There's a Wolverine Max. Yeah, man, it's gonna be coming out. Uh, it's Jason Starr who's gonna be writing it, and uh, uh, Connor Williamson is doing the art. And it's like supposed to be like no no holds barred kind of like straight in your face Wolverine. I can't wait for it. Didn't they try something like that before, and as well? They tried with it with him? Uh, Deadpool, and uh, they just cancelled it not long ago. But yeah, they haven't the, done a Wolverine one though, did they? I not not a Wolverine so. Max, but there was there was a Wolverine comic that come out quite recently. Oh, the best there is, or whatever. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, and that was oh, supposed gar- to be that Wolverine. Was gar- it's just, yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was supposed to be Wolverine. It is most you know, violent and that and. <laughs> Wolverine yeah, was... in a disco suit dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Chan- channeling the spirit of John Travolta. Is <laughs> <laughs> anyone excited for the new X Men movie? Uh, uh, the new first class. The last one, or? There's a, no, there's a new one that's good. It's um, Days of. It was a storyline. In Days of Future Past. Yeah. Is it going to be the before the before the X Men? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, but it it was. A, well, the I've new Wolverine. The, the new Wolverine movies. The is the Chris Claire or the uh, Frank Miller uh, Wolverine four part series from the eighties. That's what they're doing that one on. That's going to be cool. I mean, uh, I, yeah. they've been talking about that for a couple of years. I can't wait till that comes out. Yeah, that'll be good. I'm also nervous about if they ever make that damn Deadpool movie. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. If they get the right director. As long as they keep Ryan Reynolds, they should be fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and I hope that they get Brandon Ruth to play him. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Reynolds shows up in his uh, Green Lantern costume. I'm ready to play Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, talking about Frank Miller, have anybody seen the trailer for Batman: The Dark Knight Returns, the animated movie? I did. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> that looks so good. <clears throat> I didn't they're know actually, anything about that. Yeah, they're they're making it into a two part two part animated movie. Oh, I think I heard about something like that. I read it on Facebook or something, but I didn't know what the hell they were talking about. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> it looks really good. Well, Are you taking guitar that. lessons, there, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> it's the back. It's the background music. Oh, I was just wondering if he's <clears throat> taking lessons, though. Are you taking lessons? Yeah, I, th- I thought it was playing low. I was trying to set the mood. Oh no, that's uh, that's all right. Uh, Mood's kind of set, you know, with comic books, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can play Batman. <clears throat> That's kind of like the uh, the West Ver- West Virginian kind of Batman, you know. <laughs> West Virginia Batman. <laughs> I'm gonna make you squeal like a bat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh man, I've driven through West Virginia. Don't I do don't it. Say anything bad about West Virginia? <laughs> where Tim lives. Oh no, 
He doesn't live in West Virginia. Doesn't he? I thought he lived there. He lives in South Virginia. No, does he? Yeah, he lives very south of Virginia. Well, then go ahead, have at it. <laughs> <laughs> Rip into him. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> um, um, you know, I see that uh, they've got... Some uh, some more Grendel books coming out. You guys very see? quiet. <laughs> Sorry, is that better? Yeah. Is that uh, they they got some more Grendel books coming out. Did you guys see those? I don't no, know. No, yeah. About. Yeah. Matt so Grind- <clears throat> That's uh, by Matt Wagner. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I'm just trying to find it here. Brilliant. I really like Grendel. Mm. I was uh, looking to see if I could pick up the first comic with Grendel in it, which was from, I think it's called Comico Primer, number two. Yeah. It's about $250. Oh, wow. (laughs) No kidding, eh? Yeah. Hey, next month, I just sent you a link to you guys of uh, the creators that are going to be at the uh, comic show that I'm going to. So, like, if you want me to get their uh, signature or something, just let me know. Cool. Yeah. I read that link as KFC fan con. don't know why. <laughs> Kentucky Fried Chicken fan con. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn, there's, there's nobody hey, uh, there to punch. <laughs> Is anyone going to New York Comic Con? <laughs> Not me. I'm too lazy to go anywhere besides Kansas City. <laughs> I'm not even going to be able to go to mine in Toronto this year, I found out, so that was kind of a bummer. Oh. Um, yeah, the, the, the Grendel, uh, Grendel Omnibus Volume 2, um, it's all Matt Wagner. It's, yeah. um... Oh, we got the got police it? coming by. It's got Devil Tales, Devil Child, Devil Legacy, and The Devil Inside. It's got all of those miniseries inside, so that'd be pretty cool. Oh, brilliant. And it's cheap, uh, man. Like, how much do you think that'd be? Like, more than 24 bucks, but that's it. Yeah. An omnibus is usually, like, what, 80 bucks for an omnibus? Yeah, so that's pretty good. <clears throat> oh, that sounds really good. Yeah. I don't think I've read a Grendel comic since uh, the the Batman Grendel two. Oh yeah, yeah. Which that is a was a pretty good really crossover. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Grendel Ninja. Hmm. I don't think he's a ninja. He's kind of a. It was. I guess he, if he's anything, he's like a gentleman ninja. <laughs> yeah, he's. It was like a thief, wasn't he? Yeah. Think pretty much. Yeah, he's really proficient with the sword. Hmm. Hmm. Um, uh, Image has got a book coming out by. Um, Nick Spencer and the arts Riley Rosmo uh, called Bedlam. If you guys read about this, it's about a, uh, a homicidal maniac and um, sorry. Let me read you the synopsis. Fillmore <coughs> Press was once Matter Red, a homicidal maniac, criminal overlord who terrorized the town of Bedlam for years and then he got better. And this is what happens next. And um, they show a preview in the book, and it looks really good. The art is just just awesome looking. Now that does ring some bells. Mm-hmm. I think I must. Yeah, I think I saw it in um, the last issue of previews, and that 
Yeah, yeah. Can someone tell me why Revival is such a hot book? It's sold out everywhere. I can't find it. I'm so mad. It comes with a lick and stick uh, in the back of uh, LSD, and a lot of people <coughs> didn't know that. I think that's why they were buying it. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that an image comic? Yeah. I think every number one image comic like sells out right now just because of the hype on it. <laughs> You're right, yes. man. I think that's, that's exactly what's going on. <clears throat> it, it's pissing me off. Like, I, I feel like so many people just like it so they can make money. I mean, that's probably why. But I mean, like, no one really actually wants to actually read it and, like, collect it. <coughs> it pisses me off. Yeah. Well, I mean, you look at Marvel in the 90s, where every single one, every single issue, number one issue they had, they just sold out of, and people were selling for ridiculous money. So, I imagine it's just images turned now to have that. I think the only, you know, publishing company that that backfired was Valiant, where you can still find every first issue for a nickel in a bin. Mm. But for the most part, yeah, like, I don't know. Image is just real hot right now. I mean, everything they do is just flying off the shelves. Well, it is amazing. But at the same time, like, 99% of the books that they're doing are also good, which is totally different from DC and Marvel. Like, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, they, they print so much crap out right now, unfortunately, that I think a lot of people are looking elsewhere. And when you find other books that you really like elsewhere, then, the, you know, for me, that's a lot of my money's going there now. I buy one, maybe two DC, then I buy, you know, quite a bit of Marvel, but then my Marvel and Image are almost exactly the same. And that's a big deal because I never used to buy a lot of um, the other uh, publications. Like Dark Horse, too. I'm buying, like, I think six Dark Horse a month, too, now. Like, that's, that's a lot. Cool. Wow. Yeah. I didn't even know Dark Horse had six books. <laughs> 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 They're all Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah no, that's funny because I don't I don't get any Star Wars. <laughs> I'm not a big Star Wars fan, but <gasps> I love Star I, Wars. I, I, I just I never got in the got I like really? the original Star Wars, but um, yeah. <laughs> anyways, <laughs> so, uh, you, you can go. Oh, I was just—I was just going to say, is anybody reading the Star Trek: Next Generation Doctor Who crossover series? No, I never. I never. I don't know anything about Doctor Who, and it's just like too immense to like just dive into for me. Ah, uh, you're missing out. <laughs> you're missing out. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Yeah, it's really good. I know there was a there was a Star Trek and X Men crossover that I really wanted, but I never got it. Did anybody ever get that? Was it that two issue miniseries, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. When oh Star Trek was being published by Malibu Comics, wasn't it? Yes, I think you're right. Yeah, I think that yeah. would have been awesome. Yeah, it was. Um Oh, was it? Was it the Next Generation or was it the original crew, original series crew that they were crossing over with? It was the original series crew, wasn't it? I think, yeah, I think it was. Yeah. I was just hoping that like Wolverine was like stab Spock or something. That would have been so cool. This is highly me? illogical. Shut up, Sne Bob. <laughs> Spock would have outsmarted him. Yeah, he, he would have threw him, threw him a cigar. Or wasn't looking to give him a pitch, <laughs> yeah. So I'm buying that uh, Watchman toaster. Um, <laughs> That's well good. <laughs> Watchman toaster. I am. I want that toaster so bad. I I actually had a fight with Sherry about that, and I was like, I'm, I don't care. I'm buying it. Is this the toaster that Travis made on his video, or? 
Yeah, he was talking about it on his last video <laughs> on Fellow Thoughts, and Mark uh, Ghost Critic was talking about it. I just want to know if it actually burns the toast like that, or if it's... I don't no, think it does. It does. It does. does it? Yeah, it's it's like oh. the Mickey Mouse toaster that, they, that Disney brought out about ten years ago, and the Battlestar Galactica Cylon toaster. Oh. <laughs> they brought oh. out... You actually put the bread in, and you get the Rorschach... Place on the on your <laughs> I am. I'm doing that, man. I said to her, "I'll just take it upstairs and make toast in my comic book room. I don't care." <laughs> <laughs> when I have my friends over, I'll be like, "Hey, man, you want to read this book? Do you want some uh, Watchmen toast?" They'll be like, "Oh my <laughs> god, it's so cool!" <laughs> I'm just wondering Watch. how many people you could you could fool with it and uh, try to get them to believe that it's actually an image of Jesus Christ on it. Yeah, <laughs> I know. It doesn't really look like. <laughs> More like a more like like Cthulhu or something. Look at my my toaster has an image of Cthulhu. Ah. All the cultists would be like, "Oh, that's so awesome!" <laughs> oh. uh. Does anybody know if um? So let's say I was writing like I had a lot of like comic book ideas. What would be the best chance of me getting like someone hiring me? Don't talk to Stan Lee. He'll just steal all your ideas. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, I'll stick Dicker. Other, other than uh, Marvel, DC, and Image, like, what would I do? You could try to put it out yourself. Mm. Online or something. Make sure you copyright all your stuff, though, man. Because they'll, they'll steal, steal it. it. All you got to do to do that nowadays is... Make sure you got two copies of it. Put one in an envelope, mail it back to yourself, and don't open it. So it's got a stamp on it, the yeah. date and everything. So if somebody steals it, you can say, well, this is the original right here, and they'll have the date. They know it's not opened. And so you that can you beat them to death of it. That's right. Roll it up and beat them to death. <laughs> There's a lot of places online, though, that you can look. Just look for, you know, how to break into the business or whatever and start looking online. <clears throat> but it's hard, man. I'll tell you right now. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, I saw a documentary on Comic Con a few months ago, and it followed oh, yeah. around. It followed around some people at the Comic Con. There was two guys that wanted to be comic book artists. There was right. a girl, a, a girl, and a group of people who were cosplayers who'd done some. St uh, made their own costumes for something from Halo 4, I think, or something like that. And oh, Mass Effect. <laughs> Mass Effect, that's it, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and going back to the two artists, one of them got snapped up after about the fourth or fifth company he went to. Right. I think, and the other guy went to about <laughs> 20 people when they were like, no, not interested. No, sorry. No. <laughs> Well, the one that made it, though, his stuff was freaking amazing. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, it was... he was amazing. Yeah. I can't remember he... Well, was... like, breaking into the business ain't all about talent nowadays, it seems like, because you got really garbage people doing comic books. <laughs> <laughs> Abja, or whatever his name is, off the yeah. uh, hot... I mean, you would think that there would be nobody garbage, because there's so many great artists out there. But it's, I don't know, man, it's so weird because they want, like, especially Marvel and DC, especially Marvel, they are, like, the pickiest. You have to draw stuff exactly a certain way. You have to write stuff an exact certain way. They they have, like, a template that you have to follow to the T. You can't go outside the lines of whatever it is that they expect for an artist and a writer to work for them and if you go outside of that like that's it you know there there's just no room for anything else you know yeah. well i'm sure if you maybe if you got a, if you're a big name already they might let you go a little bit out that line but i mean we're talking about breaking in and you got to play ball to get <laughs> to get in the game yeah exactly you're going to have to lick some in between the toes to get in <laughs> Ew. Which just made you're me gonna... kind of puke in my mouth a little bit right now. <laughs> well, it kind of makes sense then why some of these garbage artists, I mean, 
Because, I mean, maybe, you know, some of these good artists, you know, take a little bit more time, and Marvel doesn't like the time that they're taking to do their good artwork. Yeah. yeah. What you can do, well, Nathan. Sorry. Yeah. No, I was just going to say, you know, perfect case in point. I was talking to my comic book guy about... Um, um, we were talking about Neil Adams and the Batman Odyssey. And, you know... DC kind of made it look like they they had to go into another series for Batman Odyssey because there were so many issues in that, you know, Neil Adams was so slow. And you know what? He wasn't. He had, by the time the first six issues were done, he was well on his way to, I think he was on like the eighth or the ninth issue. And he's like, you know, why, why, why are you making me look like it's my fault that, you know, you have to go to another series or you know, these are late coming out or something like that, you know, like this is a guy who's been doing this forever and that's what they do, you know, they they kind of cover their own ass and take liberties with people, so You guys ever beat Neil Adam? Neil Adam? I haven't, I no. haven't, no He's like the nicest guy uh, Really? And really? I've heard the I've opposite, heard the opposite. I heard that he was like a torn total goof. Nah. No? White. And, uh, white is kind of goof. Well, that's good, though. I know he's 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 a little egocentric, but uh, I think a lot of those older guys are. <coughs> I mean, I don't have a problem with that. I mean, if you've been drawn for so many years and you're good at it, then... It's cool, you know, if you're happy with it, then that's that's all right. You've done some of the coolest comic books, you know, that have been done. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you get a little big head off of that. It's like yeah, if, Jack Kir- if Jack Kirby says to somebody, I can draw better than you, it's a pretty good chance that he can, and he's all right to say that, so. <laughs> yeah, but he's dead, so I mean, you can't. Really I'd like to see him take a picture of, like, an original picture of like Doctor Doom that he drew and smashed it over Rob's head. <laughs> if that could happen. <laughs> Does anyone know Kirby's last work? Yeah, it was the the PC Galactic Rangers kind of stuff. All that, um, um, all those Captain Victory and all those books. I think that was the last stuff he was doing. <clears throat> I don't know exactly which series, but it was in that <clears throat> area. It was in that area, yeah. He did That's Night Glider really, really and Silver really Star. Yeah. Did he do stuff for Topps comics as well, or was that just comics that were you know, to do with ideas from Jack Kirby? I don't know. I'm or not sure. Because I remember seeing a. I've got a comic here called Bombastic. Bombastic. I've never heard of that. Yeah, it was by Tops Comics. Hmm. I'm sure it was by uh, Jack Kirby or Bombast. Okay. Or I don't know. They call me Mr. Bombastic. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a song about uh, Jack Kirby? <laughs> <laughs> Song by Jay. Where were you? Jeez, you just did it two seconds ago. <laughs> wow. Um, I know it says in the yes. early 1980s, the the Pacific Comics. Oh, yeah, you're right. It was uh, Topps Comics. Yeah, Bombast. That was it. Oh, is that the yeah. baseball? That was the baseball story, right? Yeah, Tops did a lot of baseball stuff. Yeah. They went into comic books in about the mid-1990s. Yeah. Well, he died in 94, and he retained ownership of characters used by Tops Comics in the beginning of 93. Yeah. So, yeah. Jack Kirby's Secret City Saga. That's what it was. That's cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I did. I've never heard of Bombastic, so that's kind of interesting. 
Yeah, it's, um, it was only a one-off. It was only a one-shot. I think it's got a Kirby cover on there. Yeah. Yeah, it cover does. Cover by Jack Kirby, yeah. Well, I'm going to have to look for that, man. That's awesome. Not 93, it looks like. Yeah. It, yeah. Bombastic. That's just fun to say, bombastic. Yeah. <laughs> and I think, oh, there it is. Yeah, bombastic. Right there, number one, bombast number one. Yeah. That's so look cool that. looking. He's throwing a missile. Mm. <laughs> How cool is that? But uh, who was oh, the you guy? Can get it for twenty-five cents on eBay. Yeah. Oh my God, we should buy everybody one. <laughs> <laughs> Give Matt as Christmas presents. Here's your bombast. Yeah. Here's your bombast. A whole stack of them. In the so room. that's like that's the last thing he did. Was that right there? I, yeah, I believe so. Or something similar. It to is. That. Yeah. 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 19, yeah. April nineteen ninety-three. Like he died yeah. not soon after that. So. Oh yeah, yeah, we should get everybody those. That's what I think. And there was a trade trading card as well that come with it and all. It's sort of polybagged with a trading card with it. So. Oh, the one with the trading card's only two forty. <laughs> you can still get everybody one. And then we'll put a we'll we'll, we'll put a CD in it of Jay singing like bombastic. <laughs> That'll be freaking awesome. We're on the winner here. <laughs> Uh, that'll that'll be um it'll be like an incentive for uh for everybody that listens to the to the UK podcast. It'll be like uh, if you listen and you write in, you will get the last work that Jack Kirby did with a free trading card and a free uh song sung by our own McLovin and uh you know, it, people will just right in in droves. And then in and the fine print, they'll find out that they gotta send us four ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny is on this uh, ad right here on eBay, it looks like this guy has stacks and stacks of them. <laughs> oh, <so. laughs> he probably does. <laughs> oh, you're right, he does too. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might know who that is. <laughs> I'm not gonna name it up anybody though. Astrid Howler Mouse. <laughs> 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 he has 45 copies of Bombastic. <laughs> I'm in West Virginia and I found all these for a nickel apiece. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get any issues of Saga number one, but look what I could find. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that he looks like he's bowling that missile down. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome, man. He looks like Ralph. Ralph. Like a Ralph Cramden character with a missile. Oh yeah, right to the moon, Alice. <laughs> uh, Did he just do the cover, or was that his artwork in the interior also? Does anybody uh, know? I don't know. I think so. Because uh, it's got Eric Larson, Savage Dragon on it as well, isn't it? And Roy Thomas, uh, Gary Friedrich. Dick Ayers, oh my god, and John Severin. That's incredible. Oh my gosh, I, I'm I'm buying that book. <laughs> I gotta get that book. <laughs> I'm gonna look. Get 45 copies of it, but sounds And Tom says, uh, you can get a Kirby Chrome Edition Secret City Saga number zero. Details inside. Number zero saga. We could even like dupe people into thinking there's a a number zero saga. <laughs> if you send if you send nine ninety nine, you'll get bombast number one. The first saga number zero. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you can get it in mint condition on uh, my comic shop for a dollar. <laughs> the the original cover price was two ninety five. <laughs> oh man. I remember those days. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> those were the days. <laughs> That's what I said, looking at that, do you remember the Forever People? Yeah. Man. And and the character that they turned into. What was his name? They all sort of like <laughs> come together and they turned into this just oh yeah, yeah. Captain, um, Captain yeah, yeah. Planet. That's what that's what Bombast looks like. Yeah, kinda. So it looks like. And he looks like he's got a Who shirt on. 
Who <laughs> <Lucha. laughs> love the who? Bowling missiles. <laughs> Out of my mind on the 515. Speaking of the who, man, um, here in Canada, they did this awesome thing on Wednesday. They had a one day only, and I think it was all over the world on that same day. They did a satellite feed of um, a documentary on Quadrophenia, and they had Pete Townsend come on and like personally invite everybody and thank them for coming. And then at the end, he was talking to stuff. It was freaking amazing. It was so good. So good. Quadrophenia is like my favorite Who album. And that was just so good, man. Oh, well, not Tommy. <laughs> no, uh, Tommy's okay, but I Quadrophenia is my favorite. <sighs> it's sad to think that now people only know the Who because of CSI. No, that's complete bullshit. People know people know CI CSI because of the who. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all, the, all the old people know who the who are. Hey. I played on the Super Bowl a couple of years ago. Joe. <laughs> That was actually one of the good like halftime performances. Well, what was last time? Madonna or something? We don't talk about that stuff. <laughs> I thought it was Janet Jackson when her boob fell out. Oh man, I don't want. I don't know why people were so outraged by that. Yeah, you'd think they'd never seen a boob before. Yeah. <laughs> But it was. She looks so much like Michael Jackson. I think that's where the problem was. It was like Michael Jackson's boob fell out, <laughs> <laughs> and that would bother a lot of people. Like that bothered me. I watched and it was like it looked like Michael Jackson with a wig on and his boob fell out. <laughs> Michael, put your boob back in now. <laughs> Ow! Who, who is she singing with? Justin Timberlake. Oh yeah, that's right. He actually grabbed. Michael's boob, I think, didn't he? Or he knocked, it, <laughs> he knocked it out, I think, or something. I think he ripped it off. Yeah, <laughs> ripped that boob right off. Ew. <laughs> ew! Ew! Why did I look? This, ew! Why did I look this up? Oh, you didn't look it up, did you? <laughs> I just said. Uh... I don't know why. You, <laughs> you watched it. You can't unwatch it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like watching somebody kill kittens with a hammer, man. You can't take that image out of your head. <laughs> well, you just got it in my head now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened with the whale vagina last month. I mean, a lot of people emailed us about that and said we can't get that out of our heads. Oh. <laughs> shouldn't have, when shouldn't you mentioned that it up. on the podcast uh, la- yesterday, I put a picture of it on there. <laughs> oh, did you oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> You'll love it. Bill scars more people than acne. <laughs> it's funny because nobody emails me saying anything. <laughs> they all just email Scott. Scott, they blame Scott. They really don't think I'll ever answer them back, and then when they get like a page and a half of me. <laughs> 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 like, email me again, man. It's really funny. I love talking to people. <laughs> Justin, don't get it. <laughs> I know Justin. one. <laughs> Justin. Or Dustin? Dustin? Justin. Justin. Justin, okay. I have to write all this information down so I know who's who. <laughs> Did you ever see on uh, Step Brothers when they're in that interview and he's like, "Is your name Pam? Is your name Pam? <laughs> Is that like a silent N?" <laughs> that favorite part of the whole movie was when he just farts. Like, you just fart, sir. He's like, "Nope, nope." You couldn't hold it in. 
<laughs> I love when he uh, when he runs upstairs and he puts his testicles all over the drum kit. That was just. I love that movie. I mean, I could never own any of those movies because my wife won't let me own those movies. But oh my goodness, some of those movies are so funny. <laughs> Will Ferrell is a foul person, but he's so funny, though, you know. <laughs> he is, Have you he seen the one <laughs> a campaign? It has uh, the guy off the hangover, Zach Galifianakis, and then Will Ferrell. Oh, man, that, that's going to be amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah, that looks funny. <laughs> he the part punches, where they he punches accidentally baby. punches a baby. <laughs> right in the face, and everybody's giving him crap, and he's like... Well, how do you think I feel? He goes, have you asked me how my hand is after I punched the <laughs> iron <laughs> out of that baby? <laughs> do, do you remember the part when, it, when um, they're having dinner and, and uh, Jack Galvanakis' kids, like, he's like, I let the donkey lick my pee-pee. Oh, yeah. Is that the same movie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I've seen the... Uh... Will Ferrell answers the internet questions. I've seen that. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, man. He was, he was here in Brantford um, last year. I don't know what for. Probably to buy cigarettes and alcohol. Because he's been banned in all the other shops near where he lives. Yeah, he probably was at the reserve. He's got, he's got a picture <laughs> behind the counter. <laughs> See this man, don't serve him. <laughs> I know he resembles Will Ferrell, and it is Will Ferrell, but do not serve him. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, I, I, I know on YouTube you've got loads of videos that show people's reactions to watching videos or websites and that. Right. And there's one, or there's one. There's there's a few that are showing a Korean internet web comic that's called Bong Chong Dong Ghost. <laughs> And, uh, what is bong, it? Bong, bong Chong Dong Ghost. Okay. And it's supposed to be the scariest webcomic ever. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, i got to look that up. Bong, wait. Oh, yeah. bong, 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 bong. I'll put the link bong. down here so Jay can stick it in the We all sound like we're going to hurt it. Everyone read it. Bong, bong, I'm just making you all say bong, bong, bong. No. <laughs> There you go, there's the link I, for it. I feel like a picture's gonna pop up. Yeah, you might be sort of like right about that sort of thing. <laughs> Bong Chong Dong. Yeah, Bong Chong Dong. I should probably get a roll of toilet paper before I read it. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. No volume on this, is there? <laughs> what? There's no volume on this or nothing. It's just like uh, no, there my, a, bong, my bong chong's not working. <laughs> Your bong chong's not working. No. Stupid. You need some bong chong Viagra then. <laughs> you just have to scroll down. Once you get to the website, you just have to scroll down it. I'm so scared. <laughs> like scary things. <laughs> Um, so am I watching the the thing? Oh, it's oh, like yeah. <laughs> two, two two minutes and fifty seconds. Is that what I'm watching? That one? Yeah. I wasn't okay. even thinking that. Oh. <laughs> okay, hang on. I'm watching it. Don't tell me. Don't don't mess it up for me. Okay, so there's a little girl walking down a street. Yeah. Is, that, is, that, is this okay. recorded? Yeah. yeah. You have to post it. Okay, so she's walking down the street. There's a side shot of her. Yeah. Feeling a bit scared. I just kept walking. There's That's a really airy music. Yeah. Some some tiles on the ground there. Another shot of her walking down the street. 
<laughs> it's not that bad. So far, it's okay. This is the audio description version. <laughs> uh, now she's staring right at you with those big anime eyes, like the three-inch <laughs> anime eyes. Uh, what the hell's wrong with this guy? There's a guy and his legs are all crippled up. What the hell is that, man? I don't like that. What the hell's that? I keep getting scared. <laughs> I've seen it before, and I keep getting scared and scared. There's another side shot of the girl here. Oh, jeez, man. I didn't like that. He guy turned around, his face is all scarred up. <laughs> now the girl's sweating. <clears throat> and he's uh, looking at her. He's bleeding from his eyes and stuff. And his head's backwards, and she's like pointing at him. Why do I keep and doing that? I, I keep oh, going back. Just, uh, <laughs> she's just pointing at his friggin' head's backwards, and his friggin'. His eyes are like, like, oh God, he's all crippled up, man. He's walking away. So it's just a shot of him walking away, and she's standing there watching him. And, and she's turning around. She's walking away. You can see her feet on the pavement. Walking away. <laughs> so she's not there. Oh, jeez, man. <laughs> the the there's, that, wait, there's actually noise. Yeah, that was not cool, man. I didn't like that at all. Ah! <laughs> I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> okay, so. I want to see your reaction now. I definitely should have recorded myself. Okay, so then there's a picture of the guy laying on the ground. Looks like he's dead. <laughs> oh, so what we can uh, do? <laughs> we, could, we could each do a response video to it and like do it as a um, response to the podcast of just no, us okay. watching it I knew that was a like little uh, I had a little bit of anxiety watching that not too bad but it was uh, it was disturbing was that the um, the Korean text or the, the English text you had on that video uh, just the Korean the Korean. Yeah. The the whole story was this: the young girl you saw in the video, in the in the comic, was walking home, and when she saw this person, there was the person that looked all broken up in that. It was a woman. Okay. The woman turns around to her and says, "Where's my baby?" The girl points to say that you know her baby's over somewhere, and as she turns around, she hears this scuttering noise, and she turns back and she sees the woman coming at her. And the woman mm -hmm. screams out, "My baby's not there!" <laughs> oh, okay. okay. And then uh, the young girl eventually wakes up from blacking out from being so scared of seeing that. And it, right at the end, you see a picture of the same person that was head spins round. Yeah. Well, that that person is a woman who she had an argument with her husband, and they split up, ah. and she committed suicide by jumping out of the store. Uh, Jumping out of the building. Oh wow! <coughs> yeah, that I was. I... <laughs> yeah, poor Matt almost had a freaking aneurysm, man. <laughs> you hear him screaming in the background. I know. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, freaking hell! <laughs> what? What? <laughs> click, click that link I just gave you. Scroll down and watch it on there. Oh you god! I almost shot myself. I almost shot myself. <laughs> what, what do you make me do this? I don't know. That's, that's this the, is uh, it's the actual comic that you scroll down and read. It's not a video. Oh god! Oh. Oh, like, <laughs> Jesus! I, I, wait, I don't, I don't know if I can believe you or not. It's, it's, like, it's, it's the English version as well. So oh yeah, yeah, properly. okay, yeah, yeah. The yeah. English version. Right. The... <laughs> I need to hear your reaction to this. But I've, I've already seen this, so it's. It says reader discretion for pregnant woman. An elder. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> ah, <come on. laughs> there you go. I hate, I hate this. And there goes Matt. <clears throat> you know who would be funny probably to, to read this was. Uh, do you guys know? Um, you guys ever watch uh, Poet Skinnies? He's always talking about how he hates creepy comics. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> His uh, his reaction would be hilarious. 
I want to see Ghost Critic read this. <laughs> <laughs> the bloody hell! <laughs> okay, so it's official. We're all going to get in contact with people, and we're going to show them the link, and they have to do a video yeah. response yeah. to them reading this comic live with like a camera on them as well. Camera on them, yeah. I'm watching you guys do this. That clicking as well. Oh god! That yeah. It's like, yeah, that, was, oh. that was the worst part. <coughs> yeah. Sounds like her neck or yeah. There is another one, if you want me to send you the link. No. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah. I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, man, do it. Yeah. Is this this one is based on a train station in Japan. Well, why is that so nice? Like, the website looks nice. And this is the English translation of it as well. <clears throat> so, if Jay can stick these links down on the comment section with this podcast, and other people can... Shit themselves before watching it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, I need to repair. Who do you got to log on to this one, though? No, it should be able to. I'm going to try to no, find a re reaction to video of it. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to Mine says user I need a username and a log on. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Should I think I'm never going to have kids? <laughs> oh, here you go, guys. This is a video of um, quite a popular YouTuber watching it. Don't watch it with sound, because otherwise, uh, <laughs> you probably shit yourself again. Let's try this one. This. Um... No! 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 Why do you do this to me? <clears throat> try that link for the webcomic. That's probably better. I don't know what that torrent one was. I'm I'm gonna record myself. <laughs> <clears throat> this is some guy watching the uh, Bong Chong Dong. <laughs> I guess it's <laughs> the nice. top left hand side here. He's watching it and he's like laughing. Ha ha ha. <laughs> oh my god, so, I'm watching your video, some guy just ran away. <laughs> he, ran, he ran out of the room. <laughs> what was this? What? Was <laughs> That's hilarious. The guy's freaking out when the head turns around. Scott, how do you not get scared from this? What? I'm not what listening. I've seen it already, and I'm not listening to it. <clears throat> <laughs> Just a it's picture. Of it. I still get scared. I've actually. Like, <laughs> sorry. I've actually opened a window to cover over the picture so I can just see him. <laughs> <laughs> One thirty-five. In the link, I Oh yeah, this guy's hilarious, man. He's just freaking right out. What link do you have? The one that Jay just put down on the bottom. <coughs> yeah, that's 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 funny. So, Mark, the one that you just put up is um, the same that's, one, but without the uh, the yeah the the one that I've just put up on there is <laughs> for the ghost station. It's the English oh, okay. translated version. Okay. Yeah. Okay, look. You guys ever play the game Wonder? I've watched it. I was a playthroughs of it. Okay, I'll read this yeah. one out. It says, Luckily, I'm not late for the last train. There's uh, <coughs> not many people in the station. <clears throat> I guess it's because the time's almost up for the last train. So there's a guy sitting uh, on a chair, and he says, Anyway, that woman looks so ridiculous. And you see this weird looking woman. Oh, I don't have a good feeling about this. Um, it's going to pop up. I'm scared. I'm scared. She's like, she's like, oh. Uh, and uh, that's why you should only drink moderately. <laughs> she looks like she's dancing. This is so hilarious. Ha, ha, ha. I can't keep this funny scene only to myself, so he pulls out a um looks like he's pulled out like an iphone or something 
Name, Engineer Geek in Yenoseni, whatever. Title, Completely Wasted Woman is Staggering in Front of Me. Laugh out loud. Waiting for last train at Oksu. A wasted woman is sta staggering. Her head banging is hilarious. Ha ha ha. Uh, number of comments, three. Hawaiian Jung says, is she hot? Laugh out loud. Ot Goat says, is she hot? Ha ha ha. I am Man of Soap says, is she hot? Ha ha ha. Laugh out loud. Men are all the same. Uh, engineer Geek, he, uh, her hair, er, sorry, her must up hair is covering her face. Can't see her face. She rocks, haha. -ha. Poster pics, come on, make it quick. Gotcha. Hang on. I feel sorry, feel but, let sorry just, but let me just take one more, take picture, one of more her. picture of her. Hammered woman pics. He's getting a picture of her. She starts She's to uh, walk away. She's pretty hammered, ha ha ha, but her body seems hot. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you see the word bump. And he looks, turns around. <clears throat> and she's like walked head first into the, the friggin' wall. Oh my god, she bumped her head. Oh no, she's bleeding. Can't fool me with that, Matt. I've watched that already. Oh. <laughs> she's staggering. Will she be alright? <laughs> Hammered woman slams head on wall, but what a creepy thing. She's bleeding really bad on her forehead, but she's walking around. Maybe I should help her out. And then a whole bunch of call 911. Give her your arm, she'll throw up on you. Ghost story. <laughs> what a piece of crap. This is like the Scott Poetry Hour. <laughs> <laughs> Your poetry. Midnight Santa. What's the problem? He's like. He's like, where did she go? Oh my God! And then her phone, his phone's ringing. Please step back behind the safety line. What the hell is that? He says, and he's looking. Oh, son of a mother! <laughs> Freaking hand reaches up and gets you. <laughs> Your profile picture actually looks exactly like you'd be reading this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good one, man. That I was expecting. Uh, I was expecting like more stuff to move around, but then when the hand grabs you, that's actually spooky. Yeah, and then at the bottom of it, it says on the, the next day there was a newspaper article on a man and a woman who committed suicide in Okusu Station. Many thought they were lovers. Police investigation, however, unveiled that they had nothing to do with each other. Right. That's a good one. Yeah. The other one scared me worse. Yeah, the first that one. Is, mm. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, Scott, how many books do you need left for Spider-Man? Like, run. Um, 38. Holy God. Yeah. See, all the early ones? Uh, yeah, most of the early ones. There's a couple here and there in the hundreds that I can't find. They're just hard books to find. Um, there's two that have the Hulk in it. And they're just hard books to find. I just can't find them. They're not like extremely expensive. They're just hard to find. Oh, like one twenty, I think. One twenty one. Yeah, oh, I'm not no, sure. no, no, one nineteen. If you um have the time, Scott, can you send me a list of the ones you're missing, just so I can keep an eye out for any that come up on our UK eBay or anything. Yeah, I can do that. Um. I've uh, sent a few lists out, so yeah. Uh, Warzone Spider actually sent me a couple, which was really nice, and that took me from forty down to thirty-eight. Yeah, you got to send me a list too, especially since I'm going to that convention here. That's yeah, fun. that'd be cool. Yeah, <clears throat> for sure. Yeah, I'll do that for sure. I'll send out lists. So. I still haven't had anything either. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. I, I mean. I remember I ordered some guitar strings from the US and they took about three and a half weeks, so. Wow. Uh, let me just tell my wife that. Uh, Jay never got those books yet. Oh, she said that doesn't surprise her. <laughs> no, right. It took uh, it took a long time for Mark to get his. Yeah. Oh, and Ian from Scotland. His took forever. Oh, yeah. When he said, yeah, he was trying to see what you wanted. I don't know what I like better, X Men or Spider Man. What do you want? I don't know where you want. Hey, Riker, what do you want? Mm. 
Because I have, like, more <clears throat> about X-Men, but Spider-Man is freaking awesome, too. So I I don't know which one to, like, focus on. Well, I know it'll cost you more money if you collect Spider-Man than it will X-Men. That's for mm-hmm. sure. <laughs> Way more money. <clears throat> yeah, but, well, the main issue I want to get is uh, Giant Size X-Men 1. That's, like, top that's, of my... That's doable, though, you know? You can get that for a good price if you search around. I mean, maybe not on eBay, but you can find them... I don't know, it's... People have those books. If you don't if you don't care about getting one in completely, you know, near mint condition, then you can find them for a couple of hundred bucks, you know, so... Yeah, I'll probably... I'll try to find one at New York Comic Con. Oh yeah, you should be able to find one. I mean, Amazing Spider-Man. You're looking at the key comics. The first twenty comics are like just astronomical amounts of money, and then you know you got stuff like the first Punisher, which is going to cost you probably at least two hundred bucks minimum. You know. Yeah. But yeah. Well, all my Spider-Man lists That's why 31. I like the Avengers books because it's like you know you might the Avengers is a lot more affordable title <laughs> than, than, than yeah. Spider-Man, or it's even more. It, I mean, even X-Men is like more expensive than the Avengers. Yeah, even they're, like they're the fan. <clears throat> Fantastic Four is another one that's kind of. That's an expensive book to collect just because there's a lot of first appearances in that that oh, run, man. too. There's a bunch of them that I want, too, but they're just so dang expensive. <laughs> like the Black Panther, the first appearance of him, who's oh, in, I like, I don't point. know, 43 or 34 or something like that. And um, we it's went to a, a place on New Year's, I think, a couple of years ago, and I bought, like, so many books when you buy so many books you get a deal and then on top of it the guy was who was selling his collection told the guy who owned the comic book store like you know give this guy a, a deal off every book on top of that so I got almost I think it was close to a thousand bucks off altogether so that shows you how much I, I spent and oh. with, with, with the savings though I got a the the giant size X Men number one that I picked up that day I got I got for free, so it was kind of it was kind of awesome because of that though. What other book did you pick up with that? I got the first Black Panther. Um, I got the Hulk annual number one with the Inhumans in it. Um. I got a whole bunch of old Spider-Man. I think I got about 15 or 20 issues of old Spider-Man. Um, I got the first appearance of Hawk and Dove. The first appearance of the Creeper. First appearance of Anthro. Um, uh, the whole 1960s Creeper... Uh, series, which was like six books, and the whole original Secret Six series, which was I think it was seven books, but they had the first six there. So I was, wow. like, I got a lot of old books, and they were like really old. <clears throat> I, wow! I used to love reading that Secret Six, the first series. I thought it used to be brilliant. Oh yeah, I With, love uh, that series. Mockingbird, wasn't it? Yeah, Mockingbird. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and they had that old. There was uh, the old Oldsmobile bursting for a street sighter, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah, like yeah. Bubble. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I used to have that. That was brilliant. Yeah, those were awesome books, man. And they're so hard to find nowadays, too. So I saw them and I thought, I'm not going to see these again. I'm just going to buy them. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I sold mine. <laughs> oh, did you? <laughs> Yeah, in in the Great Purge. <laughs> the Great Purge. <laughs> the Great Purge of '95. Yeah, the Great British Purge of 1995. 
<laughs> Those I could eat again. <laughs> Those dark days are there. <laughs> <laughs> what did you have to sell stuff for, man? Did you have to move or something, or it was purely because I didn't have enough space for all the rest of the comics I want to pick up. Yeah. Yep. So I just I was with my, living with my parents at the time, and I uh, was in one tiny little room with all my comics in there. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> I think we've all been there. One of the I reasons so. I've cut down so much is because I don't I don't have any room anymore in the house, man. So yeah. it's just like you know, what do you do? I mean, I'm not gonna move and get more room just for my stupid comics. That's just ridiculous. So no, I got I got an idea for you. Let me throw this at you. <laughs> yeah, I'm I don't know. Totally like... different house. Uh huh. <laughs> and you're gonna move all your comic books in there. <clears throat> just them. Just for the comics. Just the books. A house for the books. Wow. That's an idea, I guess. See if my <laughs> wife. Would... <laughs> I have. I have or, or buy a warehouse. Just big oh, yeah. long warehouse. Strange you to say that, Phil. I have seen a documentary where somebody had a massive record collection. Yes, I've seen it. He was trying to sell yeah. it for like three million dollars or something. Yes, I saw oh, that as well. Yeah. He actually. I gave... have that as my favorites because it's such a cool video. Yeah, he, he was actually giving records away for free because he had so many of them so the ones that weren't worth much he was actually standing out putting a stall up outside shops and giving them away for free but he'd actually moved into a warehouse and he was living in the offices of the warehouse and he had all his records and that in in the warehouse so there's an option he had well he some. used to um he used to um keep he used to own a record store and he would keep one of every record that he um ordered or whatever so it was yeah. like a archival thing you know of all this music and he had some amazing vinyl like I mean he had like limited pressings of like colored vinyl that there was only like two of and just crazy yeah. stuff yeah yeah absolutely amazing record collection he had oh man stupid <laughs> <laughs> So there That's you go, like get watch, Yeah. That's like I watched the Mile High comic guy, you know, that Chuck Rosagini or whatever his name is, and all the comics yeah. he has, and I think to myself, like, this guy's always complaining about not having money, and now I understand why, you know, he has so much stock that he must be losing money hand over fist just for the simple reason of having to to keep all this stock all over because he doesn't have that one warehouse. He's got warehouses all over the friggin' place, man. He buys, he'll buy a warehouse somewhere in like, say the state of Ohio, let's say he buys a warehouse <laughs> and then he buys like tons and tons and tons of comics all around that area and has them shipped to that warehouse so that he has another place to ship out of. And it's like, it's no wonder the guy's always broke. It sounds yeah. like the stupidest thing in the world. <laughs> I know, but that's what he does, man. <laughs> well, no, I saw something where he went to a comic book convention and he had one of the most rarest Marvel comics in the world. I think it was... Oh, I can't remember what it was called now. It was it's like... Red, Red Raven. Something. Red Raven, Red that was Raven. it. Red yeah. Raven, yeah, number one. Number one. Yeah. And he said if he didn't sell enough comics to pay for the bills for that year that he'd mounted up, he'd have to sell this Red Raven comic. Yeah, and he wanted a half a million bucks. Yeah. And he, I think he just broke even. He just made enough money to pay for all the bills at this comic convention that he went to, so he didn't have to sell it. Yeah. yeah. Now, this is crazy, man. To me, it's like, sell the comic. <laughs> If well, somebody's yeah, willing to pay half a million, sell the comic, you'd be okay for ages. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't make sense that you're going to hold on to something that potentially could ruin your business. You know, it's like if you if you have something that you can get rid of. I mean, in the end, it's paper and ink. Oh, the video camera's been fine. Oh. It's, um, it's a question I've always asked myself. Oh, awesome, buddy. I did it, but I actually 
made it! Hey, just wait a second. I'll be out in a minute. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna go outside, guys. Um, I guess Dr. Rockstar learned how to ride his bike. I want to go see that. Oh, nice. Good, nice Good job, great. buddy. I'll check you guys later. Okay, okay man. See you. No time. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Um, yeah, the quest question I've always I've always asked myself was, if I somehow managed to get hold of a copy of Action Comics number one, would I sell it or would I keep it? Right. What would you do? I'd sell it. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's yeah. a little bit. If I got an Amazing Fifteen, Amazing Fantasy Fifteen, I'd keep that. But yeah. I wouldn't keep an Action One. I'd sell that sucker. It'd be nice to have, and I got a lot of pictures of it and stuff. But it'd be going. Yeah, you take lots of pictures of you holding it, yep. <laughs> in that, and <laughs> framed and everything. Look what I had. But you'd be happy with the three million, four million. Now, how much does it go for? The last time it went for. Well, the the last. Two point one, wasn't it? Yeah, it was in. The yeah. It was a nine, wasn't it? Nine point oh. Something like that. Nine point oh. Yeah, it went for about two, three million dollars. That'll do me. I'll be happy with that. I'm not greedy. Not more comics for that. Yeah. Buy a bigger house to put a lot more comics in as well. <laughs> so we are we uh, pretty much done, man? Yeah, I've got to get something to eat. I'm being I'm being uh, pestered to go downstairs. <laughs> um, pass out. <laughs> <laughs> um. So. Issue, issuing everyone a challenge to re record yourself reading that comic. If you can record the screen as well, then there you go. <laughs> but if not, just re record your face. Uh, and uh, yes. Yeah, do I have gonna... to do it? Because I've already seen it and I know exactly what happens. I was the one who. No. Uh, I'll find something else that I can record myself to. <laughs> okay. Maybe two girls, one cup or something. I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Go see it, kiddies. This is kid my class. He told me he, like we had to write what something we did bad or something, and he wrote that he showed his mom and dad two girls one cup. <laughs> oh, it is just two girls eating hot chocolate out of one cup. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice and warm. Yeah. Couple of marshmallows. Hey guys, I'm back. I bet Phil's seen it. Seen what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I gotta get out of here. Okay, it was so nice seeing y'all. Bye! <laughs> did he really leave? <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> All <Okay>. right. <laughs> well, there you go. So, thank you everyone for listening. No one singing along? <laughs> Come on. I had this all planned out. I learned this today. I'm so proud of it. Oh, everyone left. Wow. Nice. <laughs> everyone's, wow, everyone's gone. <laughs> that really hurt my feelings. <laughs> I have to have a talk with him. Sorry, Matt. Maybe next week. We'll make sure no one leaves. Okay. okay. Yeah, you go. Down. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See you later. <laughs>